national correspondent for the tablet and crux, Christopher White, is back from Iowa where he was taking the pulse of Catholic voters there in the state. He's here with us now on what he has found. Welcome, Christopher. Great to be back with you, Lydia. Now, Christopher, the executive director of the Iowa Catholic Conference talked about how the Iowa caucuses are completely different than the other primary uh, voting systems in the rest of the country. Can you talk to me more about that? Yeah, so one of the things that we learned there is, you know, uh, Tom Chapman told us, you know, it requires boots on the ground, really getting people to commit to a full evening of engaging in conversation rather than just quickly going into a, a voting booth and casting your vote. Here's what he had to say. Our caucus process really is about getting the activists fired up. You know, it's different than a primary system. You're really trying to get bodies to show up on a particular night in January or February in Iowa, which isn't always easy. And so you're going to find that the people who are interested in that are the people who are most active and interested on issues. And I think for a lot of people, they bring their, their Catholic faith with them. It's really quite a public event. You have to say who you're voting for uh, rather than a sort of a private act. And so it, re it re requires real commitment. And, and Chapman also said that it's really important for Catholics to also get involved in the political process, correct? That's right, exactly. Now, let's take a listen to hear what he had to say. It's part of who we are as Catholics to go out and be Eucharist in the world. And I think a lot of people take that seriously. The Catholic leadership is obviously meant to be nonpartisan. How does he navigate this? Yeah, so one of the things that he does in his capacity with the Catholic Conference is he works on a whole host of issues from abortion to food stamps to immigration reform. And it's his job, he says, to amplify the work of the church across the board so that he can work with Republicans, he can work with Democrats, he can work with those that say they have no real political party and elevate the principles that really animate and motivate uh, Catholics uh, to use his language which he said, you know, I, I think about Pope Francis and he says the Pope calls us to create a culture of encounter and I'm doing that uh, across the political divide. What uh, other major issues did he say Catholics are facing in the state right now? Well, beside the hot button issues of, of abortion, immigration, I mean, he really pointed to sort of health care, you know, ex expanding access to that and just sort of general uh, economic issues, particularly when it comes to the farmers there in Iowa. Thank you so much. Christopher White, national correspondent for the tablet and crux. Thank, Thank you, you for Lydia. being here with us. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.